I sometimes get uh, emails from people asking how can they get more real time when they're working on their projects. They've read how EDIUS uh, is supposed to be such a great program at uh, being able to see your videos play in real time as you work with them. And so they're trying out the program and they're finding the videos are kind of stuttering along a little bit. And they're just wondering you know, what it is they might be able to do to get the same real time that they see in some of my tutorials or, or, or what EDIUS is advertised to do. And uh, the good news is that, yes, there is a lot of uh, tweaks that you can make to your PC that will help you uh, get more real time in EDIUS, help EDIUS to work faster and uh, play your videos in real time. And so I thought I'd make a couple of tutorials to cover some of those um, tips that you can do to speed up everything, uh, not only on your PC, but as you work with EDIUS. There's probably about 10 different things that uh, will help with this. And the first one that I would like to talk about is your antivirus program. In most computing situations these days, it's a good idea to have some type of antivirus software running in the background on your computer, uh, as you, especially if you're using a computer that uh, you also check your emails with and browse the internet. However, as you are editing your projects, it's a good idea to turn that antivirus software off. You can usually do that. Um, you can usually get to your antivirus software by checking to see what programs are running with a little up arrow down here. I am using a program called AVG Antivirus Free. And uh, I can right click on that little symbol and temporarily disable AVG protection uh, while I'm working on my project. So I use a little drop down menu and check until restart, hit OK, and uh, that will prevent AVG from make, doing anything that would interfere with the edit uh, while I'm working on the program and uh, potentially slow things down. Now there are some antivirus software, at least there used to be in the past that I've worked with, that did not allow you to temporarily disable. And if you're running one of those programs on your edit machine, I would recommend that you completely uninstall that and uh, install something like AVG. There are some antivirus programs that are more intrusive than others and tend to take over your PC in a much stronger way than others. We won't mention any names, but uh, I find that this AVG software, not only is it free, but it is also very unintrusive and tends to allow your computer to work normally as it uh, keeps an eye on things in the back. And yet, even with AVG, I will tend to turn that software off while I'm editing. Now, uh, as a recommendation, I would say that if you are becoming serious about video editing, that you will probably want to dedicate one PC, a fast PC, uh, for just primarily doing video editing and uh, do your web browsing, your email checking on a separate computer so that uh, you don't run the risk of introducing spyware or adware onto your PC that you use to edit, edit videos. In fact, uh, that would be the next thing that I would probably want to talk about is is your computer running slow because it has been infected by adware or spyware? And uh, if so, that uh, software, that spyware, adware stuff is very difficult actually to get rid of. You know, almost every program out there on the internet that you can download to try and get rid of spyware actually introduces more spyware. <laughs> so I would, uh, you know, I would recommend if your computer has been infected, uh, it could really be slowing things down for you. And it's probably a good idea just to start from scratch. Uh, format your C drive and install your operating system again and reinstall EDIUS and keep that box separate from your internet use. Now, of course, you'll have to use internet in order to download EDIUS and other software that you may use a uh, Adobe Suite for, or what have you and occasionally uh, hook up to the internet again to get uh, updates to these primary programs but for the most part keep it separate from the internet keep it completely off the internet so that you don't run the risk of getting this um, adware and, and spyware. Now uh, maybe just another word about this uh, AVG 
uh, like I say, it's free and it's uh, basically all you really need to protect yourself against viruses, at least. Um, it doesn't always do the best job at uh, reporting adware or spyware and uh, probably wouldn't be able to do anything about it anyways, even if it did find it. You, again, like I say, have to pretty much clean off your hard drive and start from scratch again. But uh, just a word of warning before you try this software. Um, let's open up a browser here. You can uh, Google AVG, but even here, uh, from the list that you get from Google, you need to be careful <laughs> which one you click on. For example, you'll see one here uh, at the very top of the list at Google, AVG, free antivirus, but notice that it's not really AVG that you're clicking into. It's some other site, freeavg.com. And these people um, are a completely separate group from AVG that have gained access to the AVG software and allow you to download it all right, but they also include their own spyware and adware. Uh, I recently uh, put together a brand new box and uh, without paying too much close attention, uh, installed this right after I installed my operating system and right away the first time I, I ran I went to, to use a browser I found adware I could not believe it even when you download it from download cdnet.com which is a very reliable place to download software again you have to be careful because notice the little ad that pops up here at the top that looks like the button that you need to press to to get your AVG software. But if you look closely, it's not the download you're supposed to click. It is actually an ad that appears at the top of the page at download.com. And if you click here, you're going to uh, get a completely different software program called Reg Clean Pro, which is notorious for adware and, so and spyware. So <laughs> you have to be really careful trying to get this software. The, uh, the place to click is download now under uh, ant, uh, AVG antivirus. And even here, you have to, again, be careful of this crazy ad that you might want to just click on, you know, to get your software, just, you know, the big button. But if you wait about 10 seconds, you'll see the actual um, window here that pops up to actually save your antivirus software, your AVG. So even though I highly recommend AVG, uh, just a word of warning, caution, caution, <laughs> be careful uh, how you download. I had to actually uh, reformat my hard drive again and uh, start from scratch. The adware that came actually slowed down my computer so I could not run EDIUS. So if you're finding EDIUS stuttering, it may be that you do have this spyware or adware on your computer that is just halting everything uh, grinding it to a, a halt. Now my third tip would be to speed up your computer uh, when working with not only EDIUS but all your programs is if you have not already done so get an SSD drive for your system drive and put uh, your operating system on it EDIUS and any of the other uh, related programs to video editing on that solid state drive and that you will notice a, a remarkable uh, difference in the way your computer not only starts but operates and you'll notice a, a big improvement and increase in the speed of EDIUS and the ability to run things in real time. Alright and for my last tip for this first part of our series on how to uh, get more real time out of EDIUS, uh, I'd like to point out something even back to our AVG software. You may be experiencing uh, some slowdown on your computer, not only for EDIUS, but for other programs that you run as a result of uh, a, a variety of things that could have happened to your PC over time. And if you open up your antivirus software, your AVG or, or other uh, antivirus software, you, you probably have the option to check the performance level of your computer and uh, identify some things that might be slowing it down. 
in AVG, it's this fixed performance. And uh, you can run the analyze. And it'll check your registry errors, junk files, fragmentation, and, uh, and broken shortcuts. And uh, let you know just where you're at as far as some of these problems. I recently did a, a registry clean using AVG and so I'm not doing too bad at the moment. I could probably still uh, run the program, get rid of some of the junk files and uh, the registry errors that have uh, creeped in since I last ran this little software. Yeah, if your registry is really bulked up with a lot of uh, invalid registries, that can really slow things down on your computers. So once you've run the analysis, if you're seeing you've got some problems, just hit the fix now and that will go through and uh, take care of a lot of those things that might be slowing down your computer. All right, I believe that's it for now on how to get more real time working with EDIUS part one. And when we come back, we'll show you another four or five tips that will really help speed things up as you work with EDIUS.